I'm going to show you how you can connect your Rapsodo direct to your PC, and we're going to get rid of these devices in the middle. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we're connected. We are green light, just connected via Bluetooth to the PC. We've got no phone, no tablet. This is Rapsodo direct to the PC, PC direct to GS Pro. The feedback is, is very quick. You'll see it here and the connector works very well. You'll notice things like when I switch to putter, what'll pop up on the screen will be the putting app itself showing up on the right hand side, showing me where uh, my ball is and if I were to put a ball in there to track, you'll see it pick up with the red dot. And as you club up or switch away from putter, that goes away. So now I'm back to the sand wedge, that goes away. So the putting app, you don't need it on a different screen, it just pops up on here and shows itself and then removes itself. But all right, let's, uh, let's hit a shot, see if we can't uh, get the crowd screaming. Sit. Oh, that ain't bad. Okay, so we'll put our ball in there. It's already switched to putter because we're on the green. My ball's in there, it's picked up by the tracking app. And we'll just grab our putter, aim a little bit to the left, and let's give this a run. Oh, come on. So close. All right, so we'll move on. 17th hole. I like these yardages, 135. You can, again, you can see it's green down there. I think it's gotta go. Yep, that's all right, we'll get to see a chip here. But if you notice, it just flashes blue instantly and switches back to green if you're looking at the the Rapsodo for feedback. Here's a kind of a medium chip. I'm not gonna switch clubs. Bite. Stay on the green there. And again, the putting will just show up for us because it recognizes that we're on the green. Get our ball in the circle. 20 feet downhill slightly. I'm gonna hit that hard. Come on, sit. All right. On to the last hole. And I am just gonna hit like halfway there. Just a few, sh couple more shots for y'all to see just how quick it works. And again, the back is sore, so <laughs> we're gonna try to go easy on myself here. Play this as a par four today. 57 yards. There we go. And while we grab our putter, the putting app should pop up for us. Ball's registered. Go. All right, so let's connect it up and show you how this thing works. So we'll go over to the GitHub site. My, the link is in the description when you get there. You'll go to the releases. Uh, it's got a few bugs in it. This is early, but this is gonna allow us to connect our device straight to our computer and play GS Pro with almost near instant feedback. I've got my Rapsodo. We need to get that hooked to the app. I am going to throw my phone up on here quick. And I've just turned my Rapsodo on and we are going to connect to it using the local network connection method. 
need to do this because we need the third-party apps. Because what we want to do is get the Bluetooth signal, similar to how it's used for Awesome Golf or E6, and we want to use that to talk to GS Pro. So we'll get it connected here, and I'll jump over to the third-party apps. Connection successful. We're going to do start a session, and we're going to go third-party apps, and we're going to go to Awesome Golf, and we're just going to authenticate. So now my Rapsodo, the Bluetooth signal is on. You can see the light is blue here. Um, it's ready to go. And when I go back here, we'll close out of my phone and I'm just gonna launch the connector itself. I'm gonna set this back here. You're gonna see the connector launch. Uh, GS Pro is launching on my uh, monitor right now. Putting is also launching. The API is already connecting. So all of that is handled by this connector. It's very convenient in that sense. And you'll look that the launch monitor is connected. And if I click arm, you're gonna see this light turn green. So there you have it. I don't know if you can tell, but we've got a green light on the launch monitor now, and we are ready to play some golf. There is one thing I had to do. So for me to get my Rapsodo to connect to this with Bluetooth, to connect to my PC, all the way over here a good 12 feet away which you'd think that's crazy that 12 feet away i can't get a good bluetooth signal what i did was i took the cable that i had running out to my back wall where my tablet was actually connected and i replaced it with a little usb um receiver so i went out to best buy i got myself a usb receiver plug that into my usb extension i have that sitting right underneath my rapsodo that makes the Bluetooth connection to the computer very, very solid. I don't have to worry about the weak radio in the MLM2, and this connector works great. Now, there's some cool features on the connector. Um, again, you can see, like, disarm, turns it blue, waiting on a shot, arm arms it for ready. Um, you can send a test shot straight into, into GS Pro. It'll send it. He's got some other things like exporting your data, and that will just send the EX yeah the csv file into an export so you can get all your shot data from there you can do that from gs pro as well but it's really a nice feature um inside the settings this is where you, if you wanted your putting to always be up you could keep it up yeah unchecking this one you don't have to use putting you get on you could disable it um putting camera always on top hide the putting console and putting console logs um up top is your automatically start gs pro settings and then this is kind of the launch monitor Bluetooth connection part um, where it connects to your launch monitor. Report bug takes you to his GitHub uh, section where you can report an issue. And then he's got both a dark and a light mode. Hey, thanks for watching. If you can click the like and subscribe button, it's been helping me out a ton growing this channel. Thank you to everybody who's commented on my videos. I really appreciate the support, the questions, the criticism, the feedback, and the requests for videos. And due to those requests, my next videos are going to be more about the build and the setup in here. At least that's what I'm planning. Uh, we're going to talk simulator flooring, impact screen, how I attached it. This whole room was DIY, and I want to share some of that experience with you all. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.